community. These bugs. Community yard sale day. Jeez. Attack of the yard sales and attack of the flies. Over 70 homes, supposedly, and a lot of homes, a lot of people out already, and it officially hasn't even started. It's like 7 and it starts at 8, so we'll see what treasures we can find today. <sighs> I don't even know what this intro is about. Welcome to Paver and Moose. Welcome to Community Yards all day. $15 is a great price. Yeah, but it's actually really nice shape. Uh -oh. <laughs> Dad, you could even see, I'm the one with her. I know. Her and I would load the car. That's, I don't even think you have to reupholster it. from 81. but she only charged me a quarter, so can't go wrong for that. Look at the sad hair. That's Easton High School. That was Peter, I was that. Those guys are fun. Oh, they're like a plastic. How much are the ornaments? So essentially, yeah, it sales like this, this is all about timing. That's it. You get to a sale right when they put stuff out. You get to a sale right as they're putting stuff out. Someone pulls up before you. It's just all timing. Do you know how much the tree is? Um, in Charlotte. Yeah. Uh, the tree. Oh, yeah. 
the Christmas tree. Yeah, there's all kind of things here. Okay. Four dollars. Sure. And there, and the, that's the light bulb. The lights. Oh, perfect. Do you want to take it? Yes. I have a box. I can, okay, great. Good? Yes. Like there's two sets of the things that you can put. Yeah, in. I see that. Yeah. I, I have yeah, a bunch of. I love these trees, but I've never seen those kind of lights. Is, so that'll this be is fun. This actually an old one. Yeah, <laughs> I love um, them. But I just don't use I them have, anymore. <laughs> oh, good. It'll be put to good use at my place. I'll add it to my collection. <laughs> I have my grandmothers and my aunts. Do you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they bring back really great memories. Now, is this box too big? Um, maybe that little red one. Oh, that would be fine. I didn't know if you wanted it closed. No, it, I'm, I'll put it right in the car. Oh, okay. Let me give you the okay. money now. Okay. I'll set this down here. There are some bulbs in there that I haven't seen before, so that'll be fun. And this one's glitter or mica, so four dollars. That might be the buy of the day. a lot of homes I mean there were a lot pretty much every street in this town had a handful or more of sales they didn't have this community yard sale last year maybe even the year before I'm, I'm not sure but you know when I go to yard sales I'm always on the hunt for vintage that's what I like that's what I like to sell that's what I like to buy that's what I like to collect so I'm sure that there were probably plenty of other things that I walked right by that were or could be decent to big sellers on eBay. What are you going to do? You know, I, I've said it before, the time that I would spend trying to look up something that is new to me or that's new, I could be missing, you know, a couple boxes down, a whole box of vintage Christmas cards. So that's why I try and focus more on what I like because I'd rather not miss that because I'm looking up a pair of new shoes in a box. Just my shtick. So anyway, what did I buy? Some vintage. Um, one thing that I love to collect <laughs> and sell. Well, more so to collect. That was a great buy. So yes, um, just a mishmash of things. We did pick up Yoda. He is older. He is from 1981. Uh, yeah, 81. And he's a puppet. His hair has seen some better days. He was a quarter. If you are a Star Wars collector and this is a quarter out of sale, you obviously would, would pick it up to just pop on your shelf and add to your collection. Um, online, they sell anywhere between, depending on condition, between $10 to like $50. Obviously, the higher the price, the better the condition. But for being that old you know 40 years old he's not bad he does have some paint loss um, I'll probably actually just pop him at the flea market you know I'm sure I can make some money on the quarter that I spent because I don't really collect Star Wars never seen the movie don't tell anyone got him I did pick up this vintage guest jacket it was two dollars it's a medium made in the US of A 
We're talking about worth. What is this worth? No idea. Again, clothing, I usually pick it up if I can fit it. This looks like I might be able to, but I don't know how this wash is going to look on me. Um, it will need to be washed, but still a nice older piece. Um, we'll see what it goes for. You know, if this is a $50 jacket, that's great. If not, perhaps then I will just wear it. It does have all the buttons, buttons, which is good. So I did the yes denim jacket. How do I look? Oh, maybe I will add that to my collection. Um, I did buy some vintage children's books. The guy ended up saying 10 for a dollar. You can't go wrong with that. So I just went and grabbed more. Grabbed some of the Charlie Brown books. Um, I'm going to put them away for future projects that I will most likely will never get to. I really love the cover on some of them. This one's really cute. Sam and Corky go fishing. So, love the, the muted colors. Oh my gosh, she's using like a little hedgehog to catch a fish. That's so cute. <laughs> There's some Dr. Seuss in there some Charlie Brown, some Disney. So that was 10 for a buck, you can't go wrong. I'm going to save the best thing for last. Obviously, I'm sure you know what it is. Anyway, I didn't end up buying the box of the antique songbooks. This sale, if I got it on my camera, I have no idea what my footage even looks like. It had the um, vintage pottery train. They were planters. When I went back to ask how much it was, another guy had asked, and I think she said like $3, but on the one, there was a huge crack and like a big chip, so the guy that was looking at it put it back, so I thought, I'm not gonna bother either. So yes, we have a whole bunch. The finest of the wheat, Epworth Hymnal. These are just great, Songs of the Soul. Just what you want, enough of it, not too much of it. Look at that. A magnificent set of books for the home and fireside is the Epworth reading course for $18.96. So I bought those. I don't even know what else is in the bottom. The Forest Choir, that looks interesting. Yeah, they're all gospel and hymnal books. But I just enjoy the old, old look of them. We got that. I did pick up the whole box of Christmas for a dollar. Most of the stuff in there is not that great, but there were a few pieces that I liked. I saw a bug. I have a little Santa. There were these, which were older. We have Mary. A little donkey like the, I forget the material, I always forget the name. Oh, we have Jesus. I always find Jesus. And then, oh, we have the cow. So Joseph is, Joseph has left the building. Italy, painted in Italy, of course. 35 cents a piece, can you imagine? Can you imagine? What else did this bag have? Oh, I have this guy. Wait, the other one was in the bag, but he was in rough shape. His paint is all chipping off. A little salt and pepper. Darn it, darn it, darn it. I picked up this if I caught it on film. Um, it smells really bad. I didn't realize it until afterwards. Oh, but it's rather nice. So this will have to get um, just aired out. It's a scene. It has that like the inner portion of a hat kind of smell once it gets sweaty. <laughs> but it's, the colors are brilliant. They're still bright and vivid, so I'll be airing that baby out for a while. And then last, oh man, get a whiff of that. Oh, also bought these, the old maid card game and the Mickey Mouse Seek and Peek. And then last but not least, the best buy of the day for a whopping four dollars a vintage christmas tree does have the base this has the glitter or you can also call it mica on it it is in great shape no cracks and what was great about it 
It also came with the lights. Now, what is interesting about these lights is there were some in here I have not seen before. So we have the birds, which I have seen, but there are these. I haven't come across these uh, a while ago, a few years ago. I bought a whole box of the lights that you put in the trees and there were an assortment. There were birds, small balls, little balls, stars, all sorts of things, but not these. So four dollars. That, my friends, my favorite buy of the day and the best buy of the day. So that's a smaller tree. It does have the glitter or mica on it. I don't have one like that. I need like an old, I need an entryway. That'd be great for Christmas if you had like an old table, a small one, almost like a church bench size with and then you line them all up there. Oh, be a little village. Goals. So yes, my favorite buy of the day. That was it. Lots of sales, lots of kids stuff. If, if you are having a baby or you've just had a baby or you know someone that's having a baby, I mean, go to yard sales. You can really stock up on clothing, toys, and other necessities, you know? Um, it beats going to the store and paying the full price, especially for toys that are just going to be used for a couple months, maybe a year, and then you're going to end up selling them. Why spend triple, quadruple the amount of money when you can just go to a yard sale and get bags and bags for, you know, fill a bag for five bucks. Crazy. And then it also makes me think of, Am I missing out? Am I missing the boat now by not picking up some of the new toys? Because in 20 to 30 years, those toys aren't going to be new. They're going to be vintage. But are they going to be sought after by this generation that's using them now? Are they going to want the Paw Patrol toys? I have no idea. You know, with technology these days, I don't think kids are playing as much with toys when they're 14, 15. I was still playing with Barbie dolls. Not afraid to admit it. It is the truth. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you know, it, should I be buying those things? Where would I put them? I don't know. Maybe that's an experiment. Then I'd have to remember in 20 to 30 years to dig them out again. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully my footage came out from the yard sale. If it didn't, I apologize. I do need to get a new GoPro. It is starting to act up even more. Um, so that is a, that's going to be a future purchase definitely. Well, thank you for watching. If you were out at your townwide yard sales, good luck, whether you were buying or perhaps you were selling and trying to get rid of the treasures that you have accumulated through the years. Good luck. Hope you sell out. And if you're out there buying, I hope you find your treasure. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I will see you all next time. If you do have a hankering for more yard sales, go and check out my playlist. I have some yard sales where I probably have found wonderful things over the past couple years. Or if you are interested in just a little relaxation, check out my history behind the paper videos. Those are a little more slow paced and I hope you enjoy. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time.